In line with India's aim to triple defense exports, Indo-Russian airspace firm Brahmos Airspace has been offering its missiles to friendly foreign nations. Just last year, the firm clinched a $375 million missile deal with Philippines. However, more countries are in talks to arm themselves with the Brahmos. On topics including foreign sales, the development of hypersonic missiles, impact of the Ukraine-Russia war and much more. Beyond's correspondent Siddharth MP spoke with Atul Din Karane, the CEO and MD of Brahmo's Airspace. Take a look at this exclusive conversation. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi has set an ambitious target of $5 billion US dollars to be achieved for India's defence exports by 2024-2025. At present, India's defence exports stand at close to 1.5 billion US dollars. So if India has to grow by more than three times in less than two years, it will be depending heavily on the success of its flagship program, the Brahmos supersonic missile. Joining us on Beyond World is one Mr. Atul Rane, MD and CEO of Brahmos Aerospace. Sir, from 30% indigenous components in the Brahmos missile, how far have we come, where are we at today? Yeah, when we started Brahmos in 1998 and our first deliveries in 2004, uh, the ground complex was fully Indian, except for one or two of the uh, com uh, uh, components. The missile, we were 13 percent, not even 30, and uh, today we have reached 78 uh, percent. This is with the help of uh, various of our partners, industry partners, who have. Uh, been holding our hands and working on indigenization of various parts of the missile. The Indo-Russian joint venture, which has significantly enhanced the war fighting capabilities of the Indian armed forces, will start exporting the missiles to the Philippines by the end of 2023 and is confident of getting more export orders. The Brahmos missile system is jointly developed by India's DRDO and Russia's NPO Machinos Troyania. The firm's name, Brahmos, is derived from India's Brahmaputra River and Russia's Moskva River and was established in 1998. And it can be launched from terrestrial, naval and aerial platforms. At 2.8 times the speed of sound, the Brahmos are among the world's leading supersonic cruise missiles. Uh, the Ukraine-Russia conflict, how has it affected the supply chain and uh, how is the Brahmos production line at, at this moment? Uh, we have a wonderful order book. Uh, it was till 2027, uh, till a little earlier. Now uh, with a few uh, new orders coming in, we have an order book filled up to 2031. Uh, the geo current geopolitical uh, situations always uh, gives a little bit of trouble to any supply chain. We had the COVID before that. Uh, the pandemic and now this part but these are all only small speed breakers and roadblocks as of now uh, we see our supply chain very robust and we don't see any problems yet so with regards uh, hypersonics that's the buzzword today what is india doing what is brahmos aerospace private limited and its partners in russia doing about it uh, yeah uh, there are a few countries working in hypersonics uh, systems are being tested Nothing has been inducted yet, though there have been some stories of the, that Russia has been inducting uh, a few hypersonic missiles and using them, but then that's, that's press. Uh, work is going on on all the technology bricks. Our joint venture partners DRDO and uh, Russia are working on it. Once these technology bricks are available, Brahmos would use these technology bricks and create a hypersonic missile. So right now we are waiting for uh, our partners to come out with the, the technology. Many countries, especially those in Southeast Asia and the Middle East, have shown a keen interest in acquiring the Made in India missiles designed and developed jointly with Russia. Uh, you've backed the order with Philippines and it's underway. So what next? Indonesia? Uh, quite a few countries in, in, in the line. Uh, Indonesia, Southeast Asia, I will put it that way, and the Middle East. We have quite a few uh, very serious talks on. So, final question, sir, uh, about the Brahmos missile itself. The range uh, has been increased progressively over the years. It's said to be around 400 kilometers from 290. What do you have to say? Yeah, uh, we have been making improvements on the missile system. And uh, the armed forces always ask for improvements. 
So we've been improving the system in terms of its performance. And what are some of the crucial components on board the missile that have been improvised and developed indigenously by India? Yeah, now uh, you see the whole missile is uh, almost indigenous sans the uh, ramjet engine. That's the technology which we are getting in from Russia. And uh, we are now making efforts to even get that technology into the country. Maybe six to seven years or eight years down the line, we would have that also in our country. That was Mr. Atul Rane, CEO and MD of Brahmos Aerospace, telling beyond that in seven to eight years, even the sophisticated ramjet engine that powers Brahmos will be indigenized in India. With video journalist Argar, Siddharth MP, Beyond World is One.